welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And your boy, Stanley. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, we back. <laughs> Look, before we get started, I know you all have been trying to figure out where we have been. If y'all following us on social media, y'all already know where we've been. Hey. But um, welcome to all the new family members. We gained, gained some subscribers while we were gone. I guess y'all was, look, for the people that be watching but don't be subscribed, y'all decided to subscribe so that y'all can really figure out what the heck we were doing. Hey. But welcome. All the old family members, welcome back. But uh, we went to Montego Bay, Jamaica. Yeah. And we had us a good old time. And we actually documented it, documented almost almost everything. Um, I'm gonna forewarn you that um it'll be the first time and the last time in the life of Life With Us TV, random TV reviews that you will see your girl lit. <laughs> I was open Jamaica whole lit. And if you go over to the vlog channel, you will be able to see that. All of those links will be in the description. Yeah, we got a part below. one and a part two. Yeah, part you one is the You don't want to miss it. You don't want to you miss it. You don't want to miss it. So you want to check them out. After you finish watching this review, yeah. then you go check it out. Don't leave. Don't. Don't leave. I know that's right. But from what we showed y'all, can you imagine what we didn't show y'all? Yeah. I'm just going to leave that with you. Yeah. But um, have and have not. We kind of didn't catch up all the way from when we left off, but I think we got enough to be able to give y'all a review for this week. So it was called No Honor in the Game. Now, if this ain't true, this is why Candace Tail keeps getting hemmed up the way that she is. Yeah. And we'll get to it. But first of all, we got Demonica. Demonica walks in on Jeffrey and Justin. I mean, I was like, yes, get in it. Yes. Broke back mountain style. I mean, they're like, getting it yes. in. Yes. And when Jeffrey saw her, of course, he got startled at first. But then he was like, you know what? You in here. You walked mm -hmm. up in here. Now let you, you are watch. To see it. Exactly. So him and Justin talking mad smack to her. You know, you can leave or you can continue to stay. And we can go ahead and say, finish we, it in we, your face. We can, give you, we can give you a little porn show if you want yeah. that. And she was like, no, look, see that thing right there, that miss thing right there, don't got you acting brand new, got you acting bold. He doing this to you. And Jeffrey was like, mama, cut the skit. I was born like this. You said, where you either, been all my life? Yeah. Either you're going to accept this or just leave me the hell alone. Matter of fact, go ahead and get your stuff and leave. Just leave. She said, well, I came over here, the goodness of my heart. He said, first of all, there ain't no, ain't goodness, no goodness in, in your heart. <laughs> said I came over here so that you could sign this affidavit so that I can get you off of this you know this um um this charge that you currently on hmm. and he said so what I can pin this stuff on Benny so he can take the fall for that oh so what you sleeping with him now too you defending him you see so here we so go so what is this so now everybody that he defends he got to be sleeping nah, with. now what it should have said so he stopped giving you some dangling now you want to put him in jail Hello. Huh? Hello. Y'all like this tan? Good lord. Yeah. I had to come back and I had to go to the pharmacy and get some makeup and I was like, don't nothing matter. You said we were black like these, but now, now, we, now black, we black, black like, like these. these. <laughs> God, do it. But yeah, this this, this is all natural. So, that day going to Monica, she kept saying, you know what, I can fix this. Just come home with me. Come home with me. Jeffrey said, look, I you can't fix it. And she said, come home, come home, come with me. Come on, come, come, come with me. She's like, don't stop. <laughs> I said, Jamonica, just go ahead and leave. So she eventually went ahead and left, still saying that she's going to fix this. So we know that this ain't over. So then Justin looks at um Jeffrey and was like. I'm sick of him. You know we're together, right? Um, I, Jeffrey said, I just made a mistake. I, I ain't mean yeah, to do Yeah, you caught me at a bad moment. You know, I just I, got out of jail. You know how yeah, it is when uh -huh. people get out of jail. They sleep with the first thing to come around. You know how that is. He said, no. I gave up too much and I've lost too much. I'm in too deep you, like you, the you movie said. Yeah, you definitely lost a lot. He said, you with me for life. I but said, you were dumb to leave all that skit before you found out that Jeffrey was locked down. So that's your fault. So Je just told him, say, hey, you here, you here with me for life. Basically threatened him and said, if you leave me, I'll kill you. Basically, that's what Man, he said. Man, Jeffrey just can't catch a break from these psychopaths. First, he dealing with his mama. Then he was dealing with Candy. Then he was dealing with Q. And now he dealing with God darn Justin. I'm trying to tell you something about them Harrison boys. Them Harrison boys be right here sliding But they attract them psychopaths, though. You are what you attract. I'm that's just going to say it like that. That's true. Some people don't believe that, but that's yeah. the truth. Like when you see people that's together, you be like, how in the world? 
somewhere but see, inside. But see, yeah, that Jeffrey is a psychopathic mama that took the back to the boy in school, mom. Yeah. And, and he stabbed his mom. And he told him, he said, you know, I, 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 hey, I, I'll stab you again. Hey, you want to relive that one? Uh-huh. Say, so I better miss the implant. So, <laughs> just to say, hey, now that we together, you stay right here. I'm about we'll to go, go cook them. <laughs> I said, all right, you want some brothels? That's what he should have said, you want some brothels. So, of course, we still got the Charles Obama thing going on, his obsession with Candace. We're not going to really talk about that. But over at the hotel, uh, what's the guy's name? K, K R R K R K. RK has been set up, I guess, by Candace from last week to take this John upstairs and to basically rob him like they've been robbing everybody else. But if John was looking to get bucked, and ended up getting booked. Yeah. So for a whole lot of money. RK was, I think, got like ten thousand dollars out to do. He figured out where he worked at, and I said, okay, this dude is on some Chris Hansen. Um, how them people were coming from out of town to sleep with these young kids? Yeah. That was what that guy was doing. Well, the guy said he can't dumb. even get the money because he from out of town. Yeah. Dumb. Dumb. I said, where you, where you where you bank at at the credit union? Where they ain't everywhere? First of all, what is you doing with your college card in your goddamn wallet? That's evidence right there. Yeah, if you're gonna do he was an amateur. He ain't yeah, uh, yeah, he just yeah, he just in the game. He done had a couple of young people, you know, maybe a few weeks ago. Now he's trying to go hooked. for the big fish he hooked now, now he uh being irresponsible. And it cost you ten grand, player. Hello. And your daddy's watch. I'm trying to tell you, I told y'all last time. If anybody want to be a hoe, hit me up. I'm yeah. going to pay you good money, but I'm going to need you to shut your mouth. They were looking for your website, too, man. They were looking for... See, see what <laughs> happened was I didn't get the Google clearance that I needed to go ahead and put that up, but I'm working on it. I'm working on Ooh. it. So, Jim calls Oscar because at this point now he realizing that you said that the money was over here, but it's not but over here. It ain't present in my account. Oscar looks at the account and said, Jim, I'm looking at, at the, the money. The no, money. he stopped looking at the confirmation. At, yeah, and it's here. Well, come find out. Now Oscar realized what the heck Candace was up to. Yep. That account ain't the account that's up on your goddamn screen. That account is the account that she placed up there to throw your hind parts off to give her enough time to figure out what she gonna do with this hair money. Yep. But he didn't let Jim know that. He just know that I need to get to Candace and I need to get to her right away. Huh. So then we flip over with the whole Wyatt thing because evidently Wyatt don't kill them alone. While we was gone. See, we leave for a little bit of time and why I don't kill somebody, somebody else. else. So this be three number three. You know, Bennett was resurrected. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you still got two that's still in the ground. So, Catherine is all like, you know what? I think he needs to pay for it this time. He has done enough stuff. He do. He needs to go to jail. He do. Jim is like, you know what? No, he's not going to have opportunity to go to jail. He killed him alone. Do you know who they are? They are the mob. They're going to kill him first. Yeah, why is Catherine acting like she don't and know said, what it is? As many jobs that they're going to hire them to cover up bodies for you, and you don't know. Mom, unless unless she don't give two ucks right now because she want to, you know, save her own living child. But uh, well, he don't like y'all no more. <laughs> according to Jim, it's his only living child, too. I said, lie, you lie. What about, uh, what her name, Shalene? Shalene and them two boys that showed yeah. up on that screen. Uh-huh. Tyler just forgets to keep talking about But they gonna magically show back up, you watch. I'm not even confident about that at but, this uh, point. But, uh, but yeah. All why, Rose for yeah, why, he do need to pay for his actions, but at the same time, like I told you, I said, why is he so mad at Catherine? Because Jim was the one that sent him to jail to get the black Mr. Clean that raped him, man. Yeah, he's really mad at his mama. And when Catherine went over there, because she said, you know what, I'm gonna talk to him. He goes, she goes over to his apartment trying to talk to him. And he was like, get the buck out. Get out of my place. You should have died from okay, cancer, cancer when when you had she it. She was like, you knew about how, that? How you know about it? He said, I, said, I know everything, fam. Yeah. He <laughs> said, I knew about it and you should have died. I said, what the hell? Like, dang, what? And he said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it a point that if I don't send you two to jail, I will kill you both myself. See, what so happened, God, what had so happened was... I'm going to go to the police and I'm going to snitch on myself. And I'm going to tell them that I killed them alone. But I'm also going to take daddy down too. Because I'm going to say that he was a part of it too. And he helped me clean it up. But that's what them crackheads do though. I say. See. See as long as you giving them what they want. They good. They good. They your friend. They lick you up and down. Until you say stop. Mm. But the moment you cut them off and try to help them get their life together. And they ain't ready. Oh you got hell to pay. Hmm. Well. 
Candace drops by Benny and Hannah house because now she's realizing that I need to go ahead and get rid of this money because evidently Charles Obama didn't been messing with the money. <laughs> now she probably figured out that Oscar know a little something, something about the money. So she needs to kite that money somewhere else that can't be traced to her. And I'm like, but, but I, it's I, going I, to your brother though. I got a problem um, with all that situation. What right up? How is you got all that access and all that power and you ain't even president yet? How can you stop somebody else's money and you you just running for president? Huh? You ain't even got your own money. You get money from campaigns from people donate. But you got the power to put freeze on somebody else's money. <laughs> you ain't even got that yet. You ain't in the White House. So you got that power while you running. What kind of power you got when you in the dope? And huh? how irresponsible you'll be. Yeah. Case in point. Cheeto does. Donald Trump just better not put no freeze on my money. Hello? Well, Benny said he had $85 in his account. <laughs> <cow. laughs> he said, you better not. You, we need him. He said, I got a solid 85. I feel him, though. When you got that last little bit of money you waiting on to get paid, man, you be like, something better not come through that account and take that money. He told Candace, to say, you can go ahead and use my account. How much is it? She said a few thousand. I said, Candace, you better be real with your brother. He said, look. You keep telling me it's legit, just like the tow yard, the house, the cars, all of that. I don't trust you. It's a few thousand dollars, Benny. I got $85 strong, and when all of this is done, I want to be at least $85. $85. Yeah, because we need, like, we need that the money. <laughs> I they can't need buy money. much, but I need it. Oh, everybody in the bender where they had a little bit of money left in the account, and you forgot that you went to McDonald's, Target, Walmart, and, and bought that stuff on, on through. credit. But see, they don't post right away all the time. And you get on Monday and look, and you thought you had $85. Now you got $2. You're like, God! And you be sitting there looking at your gas tank be like, uh-uh. Mm -mm. mm -mm. Don't you act on All of us have been there. Look, and then when you get real low, you just be like, don't, don't, don't turn the air conditioning on. That's why I thought about going back to cash, man. Them cars we get tried. you in trouble. Cars get you in trouble, man, because you forget about the purchases that you make. <laughs> now, you, now you say, I'm going to go make the purchase, and I'm going to come back home, and I'm going to put it in the ledger. Boo skit. Uh -huh. You don't do it yeah. until a few days later. Then you but you know what the money. blessing of it is? I just got to testify why I have a chance. Yeah, go ahead and let them know. Then when you don't live paycheck to paycheck no more. You ain't got to worry about that. You. Yeah. But hey, but if you there, you coming Everybody out. Everybody don't been there. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. if you there, you coming, you coming out. out of that. Yeah, you, you can get tired of it one day and you gonna make a change. Yeah, that's what it took. That's what you you gotta make a, get you sick and tired of being yep. sick and tired. And mm -hmm. then that sacrifice, that them nails for a long time, the kid won't get the nails done because at the end of the day, yeah. pretty nails are financial freedom. Mm -hmm. You pick. Yeah. But anywho, um, can okay, so throw that in there for free. We can charge for that. I'm charging. You charge I just for came, that? I just came on vacation and spent a grip of money. I'm charging for everything. Oh, you trying to recoup that money back? Hell yeah. Yeah. That all them dogs got from me. We taking donations then. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Hannah over there. Melissa's still over there at the house, right? Now, I did like what Hannah said. Hannah did not get on my nerves this episode, but she yes. had basically told Benny, you need to help Melissa out. Mm -hmm. You screwed the girl. The girl is pregnant. You brought her here. You're going to help her get back on her feet. He was like, that's not my baby. Not my girl. Not, not my, my problem. problem. And she said, no, 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 because somebody helped me out when I was pregnant with you and your sister. So what you're not going to do is have this girl up in here struggling the way that she is. She's in a situation. Everybody in life has been in a situation. Your turn. Well, she said she's, grow up. she's not a burden, but she's just in a situation. Dang, that's, that's, powerful. that's powerful right there, man. So Melissa was around the corner and, you know, she, she, you know, ear gazed a little bit of it. And she was like, you know what? You're right. I'm a burden. Da 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 da. She said, No, you're not. So Benny went ahead and was like, You know what, Mom? Okay, cool. I'll yeah. do what I gotta do. He went to stand up, and this wad of money comes out of his pocket. It's the Malone money. Well, Hannah's like, Ho 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 ho. Where did you get all that money? Because at first, you know, she was going straight to the Candace thing. Yep. Because Candace Can just, just came by there. Yep. And Melissa jumped in and said, ah, It's mine. It's mine. I'm sorry. I had money from when I left DeMonica's house and I had him to hold it for me so that she wouldn't take it from me. So Hannah was like, oh, so okay, you good. Got, you got enough money you to get a play. Money. And she said, said yeah, yeah, I do. I'll go get one tomorrow. And I said, oh, skip. So she had like she wasn't going to get the money back to Benny. And Benny was like, you know what? Because of that, you get you did a solid. 
we gonna go looking for you a place. I'm gonna make sure that you First of all, why is you walking around with all that money and a guy throwing sweater coat? Stop. Everybody know that everything falls out your sweater coat pocket. God don't any brother know that. You don't put no valuables in your sweater coat. Or your jogging pants and your or your windbreaker hand. pants. Your sweater coat. Yeah, your sweater coat. God don't it because it's gonna fall out. <laughs> I don't have time. But who we talking about? We here? talking about Benny. We talking about the the, the dude that want to get the money back now. And don't want to get the truck. Yeah, but acting like like you could just take it back and be like, you know what that loan that I signed? Yeah, for? yeah. There you go. His, his oh no, we they want that interest. Yes, yeah. he told him. He said when you sign when you take this money, you signing it with your blood. I want the twenty five thousand you got plus. 25, was it, was it, how much he got? 20,000 or was it 15,000? I don't even remember. Whatever it is, he owed 25% on top of it. And even Mitch told him, hey, I can't even help you out of this one. Hey, you're going to have to go back by yourself. And I them, ain't even gone. And then my peoples. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to Thanksgiving done. Yeah. See, they ain't going to kill me for what you got. They might. <laughs> they might. <laughs> so, um, Candace. Okay, now that Candace feels that she got this come up and this money is secure, she's securing the bag. Back on that boom. She's gonna put again. the money over in Benny's account. She done called the crew together from the hotel and got them in her room. And this is the title of the episode. And she sits them down and she basically is she's just I mean, she's full of herself. Um, I'm out the game, y'all. I'm I've quit. I've had I've come up. So Gia was like, hold on, hold on. Well, what am I going to do? I said, Gia, somebody just need to smack the skit out of you. Yeah. <laughs> you too dumb to even insult. So, Gia was like, what am I going to do? And Candace was like, you know what? You've been working Jim Cryer. That money runs deep. You continue to do that. Homeboy over there at RK was like, Hold What on. about me? What else got him Dudes ain't my thing. I beg you. Devil. And um, he said, I'm not going to keep doing this to be making no money. And you've been teaching us some, you know, your ways. You can't just leave us in the middle of us coming up like this. She told him to go ahead and get some older women and hustle them. So then she really didn't have a plan for Mr. Rocky. But she said, you know, I did come up and I came up real good. Then went ahead and dismissed everybody. And Rocky stayed behind. Mm -hmm. And I said, this is where it's not going to go the way you wanted to go, Candace. So Rocky said, you know what? That account number, that picture that I got for you, is that the come up that you're talking about? She was like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, how much? She wouldn't tell him. He said, but it had to be a whole lot of money for you to be leaving what we got going on behind. And said we had to keep the cut all the money from our last um, endeavor. Like I said, keep the change. Yeah. Um, Rocky said, I want a cut. I helped you out. Which is I fair. took the picture. Uh -huh. I put myself in danger. Yep. I can go to jail for this. I need a cut. She said, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. What do you think a picture is worth? What, $10, $20? I can give I you said, that. Here we I go. said, ho, ho, ho. What you don't do is insult the people that don't have the help. Because he never took the picture. You wouldn't even have the money. So this is how we get brand new. So then she's going to basically dismiss Rocky, tell him, you need go ahead and go back downstairs and don't say a word to nobody. And uh, uh, how is that visa going? Uh, is your visa secure? I said, come on, Canada, and that booze. I said, that. Rocky is going to get. And yeah. he been rocking with her since day one. I said, mm -mm. day one. But that's Canada. She always get on the people that help her out every time. Yep. So <clears throat> now we over there at Davis, over at Deacon Davis. <clears throat> David do <laughs> David who came out the bathroom. He done took a nice old uh -huh. shower, yeah. got his chest glistening. Come David on is there. a nice looking older man. Come on, the. <clears throat> <laughs> and Erica sitting on the edge of the bed and she was like, are you ready to go to bed? Go to sleep, sleep? bed or bed? And he was like, what's the matter? Mm. And she basically said, look, I need a break. I'm going to this little cool cat out. <laughs> I've had more sex with you in a week than I probably I have, have in my life. life. She said, it's over here. It's got a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs I, need to, I need to sit on some ice right now and I need to make that pulse go. Because that joke got a heartbeat. And she was like, I can't take no more or whatever. So Dick and David was like, you know what? I'm sorry. Basically, I'm good. sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> that I don't pound at you too hard. You know, the, the last lady that I was with. I, 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 don't want to hear nothing about it. Sound that. like he was frustrating pounding her. It sounded like he was tearing the Monica tail up too. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's why she, I told you something about the Harrison boy. <laughs> 
So he goes in there and he chased into his PJs. And I said, Dick and David, what you're not going to do is have your dang leg just whirling around in them PJs. You don't wear no light color PJs around. Because we can see that. <laughs> we can see that, Dick and David. So he was talking to Eric and in mid sentence he had like a click. Slide. And he said, Wait a minute. He went downstairs and he went looking through the plants, got a bug. He said, that ain't just the only one. So now he know that Demonica is listening in on their conversations. So they started going and they finding the bug. Now I'm, I'm sitting here in my mind, I said, just because you looking for the bug don't mean that she still can't hear y'all looking for the bug. Yeah, so why are you talking? So why are you talking? And then all of a sudden, David said, you know what? I got them all. So Ernest said, let's said, give us something to listen to. Give us a show. And he was like, yeah. Yeah. And she was like, oh, come on, let's do it. He was like, I thought you, you said, said it was too much. All I said was, whoo, oh, whoo, <laughs> I said, she done, I, I said, she done set the house on fire again. You know she uh, is good with a match. Ooh. She done blew both, both vehicles up. Both of them up. Had them sitting outside, looking like waiting to exhale. Now, I don't know how she did that and got in the car, and but in Tyler's it. world, it happened. It makes sense, but... Yeah. We just gonna roll with it. Yeah, we just gonna roll with it, but set both of them on fire. Both cops. <laughs> so how are David supposed to get to work in the morning? When he been going to work? That's right. He ain't been to work, is he? Oh. He, he been working trying to get his son out. That's the only case. Him and Jim is the most rich, non-working folk. <laughs> I want to be like them when I grow up. That's right, because they ain't been in that chamber in a long time. Uh, season one, two? Yeah, they ain't been back there in a long time. But anywho, that was basically... Oh, Benny. Benny go. I guess he goes back over there to the Malones to the trap house because I don't know what his plans were because he don't have entrance. So are you just trying to go over there to get him that money back? I don't know. But he walks in the door and he sees dead Malone on the ground, on the floor. And then this guy walks in right behind him. So, of course, it looks like Benny just did that. Yeah. And the guy was like, you, you know, he's holding him up at gunpoint, told him, don't you move. I'm going to call the cops. Oh, hey. So, we're going to end off. Stella said he don't think it come on next week. I don't I know. I don't but think so, but we'll, we'll check. But, you know, if he do, we'll be here. We'll be here. <clears throat> but, um. But, uh, Veronica, I saw him and wish you better not mess with Derek. That's a good digging at the church. No, it, something is creepy about him, though. <laughs> But, but, no, we had, we forgot this part right here. What? See, Derek is very forthcoming. He let him know straight out the gate, I want some puss. <laughs> and I know you want and some, I know you too. Want too. <laughs> but she said, I'm a good Christian. I'm waiting till I get married. He said, I know. I hear you. And I, I hear you. Basically, he said, well, let's get married. Let's get married. We, I'm married right now. Meet me, adult, in your white dress. <laughs> so, um. Queen Sugar, y'all know we do do we do Queen Sugar, but we don't do it on Wednesday night because it come, come on, on at 10, 10 o'clock. So, so we'll, we'll be here on Thursday with the Queen Sugar review. And once again, don't forget to go over to the vlog channel. Links will be below mm, both vlogs to will check be out what we got into in Jamaica. What I will say is I owe Jamaica some money. Mm. And I almost got locked up, y'all, straight from the VA. Yeah, the dirty, dirty sound. Two up, two down. Holla. <laughs>